Hello Taurus, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading from August 14th through August 21st, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. All right. Make sure to check your sun and moon, sun, moon, and rising signs or anything that's in your chart. Um, and let's get this show on the road. All right. What's going on for Taurus, Taurus, Taurus? What's going on for Taurus? 4, 8, 14. Through 8, 21, love reading, 2017. All right, there's a whole bunch of giving. Giving, but no receiving going on. All right, so the overall, I feel like everybody ready to let go. So, um, nope. I'm going to just keep flipping the cards before. I feel like it. Um, so... It seems like somebody's sick of somebody's in and out, maybe in and out behavior. You love me, you love, don't, or maybe just um, just always leaving and coming back. Like you mad, you don't want to talk about it, you take off. Or maybe you just um got a job that you have to always go for, it and somebody just can't take it no more. They just like become numb, like weak. All right, so I feel like. When they come back, they're not even nice to you. They like violating your personal space and stuff. They like, you know, you got everything all nice and clean. And they come over or come home and they just start flipping stuff around, leave stuff all over the bed, shoes by the door, whatever. Like everything that you hate, they come there and do. And you just like, I'm sick of it. All right, yeah, so this person is, they think they can do what they want. They like, you know, I'm not even really here, but I put money in here so I could do what I want to do. You know, even if I'm not here a lot, you know, you can clean it. All right. Oh, they got some secrets going on. I want to see what these secrets, what are these secrets for the Taurus? What's going on for the Taurus? What are these secrets for the Taurus? For the week of 8, 14 through the 21st, 2017. Oh, damn. Secrets on top of secrets. Okay. What's going on? What is these secrets? What are these secrets for the Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What are these secrets going on for the Taurus? 8, 14 through 21st, 2017. All right. Mm. Okay. That's not a secret. Y'all both thinking about leaving each other. No. You thinking about leaving this person and they don't know, but it could be, it could be vice versa, but whoever is violating the personal space is not the one that's thinking about, they thinking about leaving like, no, they just don't care. They don't care about what's going on, but you, I feel like you're thinking about leaving. Okay. So yeah, it's basically saying it's the, a wise decision to let this one go because it's like, I don't feel like it's getting any better. I feel like it's getting worse. Okay? So, it's something going on with this person. They got baggage. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, so well, they got some kind of baggage and you just in your head about it. Let's see if uh, the Cleo cards will tell us. What's going on? What's going on with the Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. So, I feel like this... Oh, some kind of separation. Just, all right. So... Yeah, that can be baggage. Yeah, all right. You can't start anew because you're stuck with this person. All right, what's going on with the Taurus? 8, 14 through 21st, 2017. What's going on with Taurus? Taurus, 8, 13. Mm. Yeah, so maybe they about to go on a trip. Go on a trip, but I feel like it's not good. It's like some kind of devious manipulation or something going on behind it. All right. Mm. All right. Ooh, Ace of Cups. So, I don't know, Taurus, but it looks like you might have something coming in. Some kind of love offer. Oh, and it's not 
home. So somebody from outside, I feel like they're going to come give you, you're about to get a love offer by somebody else. And it's a real one too. But maybe that's your baggage up here. You stuck with this old one. But you're not stuck. You just think you are. You're going to turn it down. Okay. Mm. All right. Oh. So you got the high priestess. You're going to turn it down because you already got somebody. Okay, but <laughs> technically you don't. But whatever. All right. So we have the Ace of Cups. All right. So the Ace of Cups is a gift is coming to you. Something that you have wanted. You may find a new relationship or friendship that will fulfill you. Things are looking very good. All right, then we have the Four of Staffs, and it's reversed. So it says, monetary and material, wealth and joy, positive improvement. Okay? Mm -mm -mm. So we have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. All right, where's the Ace of Cups? There's That's the Page of Cups. Sorry, guys. All right, the page of cups is reversed. Manipulator, insecure, usury, illusion, and escape. Uh, fantasy and unrealistic hopes are constant, often seeking short-lived escapes. Mm. Okay, let's do the high priestess. High priestess is reversed, so it says, passionate feelings and vanity. Okay. So, I'm just feeling like, I don't like none of that. I just feel like what I said. Love offer coming in, unstable foundation. You're not saying you're gonna, you don't want it because the secrets of you got the ex. You got that other one. But I still feel like there might be some kind of money coming in. Yeah, but maybe somebody's manipulating to get this money. If we're going to go with the card set. And then I feel like with this, somebody might be using what they have to get what they want. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, thank you and have a wonderful day.